as being instructed to me, I am going to be very slow in talking. Okay. <laughs> so, yesterday we heard a wonderful actual lecture from Dr. Ade sir. We know actually now uh, somewhat in and out about the cortical implantology, like about the cortical bones and the alveolar bone. And today we had the lecture from uh, Dr. Foder, Dr. Alex, and our great professor, Professor Constant. Constantine New Age. Uh, I'm sorry, actually, I can't spell like that. Okay. So, actually, I waited for his lecture. Yeah, I was so excited that he came, you know, uh, because he has done a lots of lots of good work. Actually. So, how the, my journey has started as an implant toy? And like in 2003, I started using implants. I did the course from my university, Manipal, in India. It is like one of the topmost universities in, in Asia. And then I was lucky to get educated from Dr. Peter Bradard and Dr. Ruth Hertel from Holland. They came to my university. So we had the proper base. Actually, I got the proper base of implantology. So I started using the conventional implants. And in 2003, I did the sinus lifts, open sinus lift, closed sinus lifts, chin grafts, and everything except the nerve repositioning. Till now, I have not done the nerve repositioning, but I am doing lots of implants by bypassing the nerve. So, like, and then from 2007, actually, I did the advanced course in Valladolid, Spain. At that time, they were using actually like the this bone and the palatal bone for the grafting and everything. And then I got lucky that I started using the immediate functional loading of basal implants. I saw the videos and I saw the video of Idesa, and like from 2009 and I started using the basal implant. I got lucky at that time, sir was not available for a month. He got married in 2010. And then I got lucky to start assisting him. So till 2009 and actually I was a dentist. From 2010 onwards, I'm an assistant of Dr. Stephen Eddy. <laughs> so uh, like then in, uh, like I'm a conventional implant lawyer. So I don't say actually that wherever the need is there, you are not, you should be, uh, you should not be using the conventional implants. But later on, actually, uh, my experience is like that, that in all of the cases, 99% of the cases, I complete the case with immediate function loading by using the basal implants or cort cortical implant or the strategic implants. And there are two lectures are there. First of all, as I was given this topic, the restoration of atrophic mandible by bypassing inferior alveolar nerve. And the second, my very good friend, he is very experienced, but he got some busy, some uh, he got struck up actually, he came to Zag uh, Zagri, then he have to fly back. So I will be utilizing his time also. So then I am going to lecture on the aesthetics and on the re -also integration of the basal implant that was not possible in conventional implants. Okay. So my first lecture is like restoration of atrophic mandible. Yeah. Uh, like for that thing, uh, I little I have become a a great fan of Kyo's plus implant. So I'm you, what I am doing for the last one and a half year, I am started getting the very good results. Like we talk about the semi-permanent prosthesis. I try to do only the permanent prosthesis with metal to ceramic. There are actually certain uh, protocols is there to use the zirconia or the metal to ceramic. It's not like that the zirconia is a good material it's expensive material and it's advertised better, so you have to use the zirconia. There are proper protocols are there that I'm going to discuss later on. So what I am doing right now, I started getting the results. It's like that. I'm extracting the teeth, the apparently infected teeth, teeth with abscess, using the QOS plus implants and PCS implants, doing a bit of soft tissue manipulation and hard, to, hard tissue manipulation and giving the permanent prosthesis with very nice aesthetic results. I was successful in like more than 80% of the cases. So I, I will be improving myself, okay? So I'm going to share it here. So that's like restoration of atrophic mandible. And this is my own way actually to do it. We just heard actually from Professor Constantinovic. He's using a piezotome, piezo surgery. I was also using the piezo surgery like, like from 2004 onwards or 2005 onwards. But right now that machine is lying down somewhere else. Yeah, because I don't know, I opened that machine